Hey, you guys. <laughs> Yes, guys, I finally did it. I became a cougar. Yes, yes, I put it on my vision board and I manifested a pretty little cub. Ah, oh. you guys, he was my mover, like in an adult movie. He just showed up at my front door all young and sexy. And by the end of the day, I was like, well, damn, Aaron, he did put the bed together. I mean, it's, it's the polite thing to do. Uh, <laughs> He, uh, he was fun, but it didn't last. So I'm back on the dating apps. And I met this one guy. Um, he's uh, originally from Ghana, West Africa. He lives here in New York now. And, and you know, he asked me what I, was do, what I do for a living. And I told him, I asked him what he did. And he told me he was a janitor. And I was like, well, obviously I'm not gonna fall for that. <laughs> right? I mean, come on. You moved to New York from Africa. You mop floors for a living and you're looking for a girlfriend. Like, dude, that's my favorite movie. I know you're a prince. Like, I already know. Yeah. So I'm hanging in there, you know? <laughs> I was hanging in there because you don't want to leave before the reveal, but uh, <laughs> he was definitely a janitor. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm single and whenever I get bummed out about that, one of my favorite things to do is go couple watching. Yeah, I'll go, yeah, I'll go to a park or I'll, I'll go to the mall and as the couples walk by, I'll play a game that I call, well, somebody married her. And it, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you play as well. Yeah. <laughs> it always makes me feel better. I'm like, don't give up, E. She found a husband, <laughs> you know? Uh, most of my friends have kids. Uh, I don't know if that's in the cards for me. Uh, I think about children the same way I think about Netflix. Like, I really, really enjoy them. Just not enough to get my own subscription. Is that fair? <laughs> I'll watch yours, though, if you let me. One of my girlfriends is pregnant now. She's pregnant with twins, fraternal. Uh, yeah, a boy and a girl. Um, and uh, she's super excited. And I'm excited too, just, just not as excited as I'd be if they were identical. Because <laughs> we all know that's the good kind. I mean, obviously having two healthy babies is a blessing. It's just not that special. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the only person who's ever like peeked inside a double stroller and seen fraternal twins and been like, oh man, come on, they don't even match, right? Like, I'm not doing that. I know, I know. I, uh, I just feel like fraternal twins are just two people with the same birthday who don't look alike. Like, all right, <laughs> so are me and Peyton Manning. Like, it's not, <laughs> we're fraternal strangers, so. <laughs> our government's on fire. Yeah. Have you been watching? I feel like our country is the hot girl from high school who let herself go, <laughs> right? But then she shows up to the reunion and all the other countries are standing around like, yo, <laughs> did y'all see America? <laughs> what is she going through? <laughs> you know she locked Mexico out the house. <laughs> she and Iran almost got in that fight and I heard she dating Russia now. What? And you guys, I don't think we change like the nastiness in the country by, by changing the government. I think we have to do it by being better to each other individually, you know? Like, uh, thank you. Yeah, going high when people go low. Uh, this happened to me a couple weeks ago. I'm walking into the elevator in my hotel and there was a woman already in the elevator and I won't say what she looked like, but she looked like the opposite of what I look like, whatever you think that is. And uh, I got on the elevator and she looked at me and she went, I guess I'll just wait. And she got off the elevator. Yeah, I know. But I didn't even say anything. I just rode up to my floor because you can't stop somebody from being a bigot, right? But then I rode back down to the lobby. <laughs> because you can make a bigot take the stairs. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when the doors opened, I was like, hey, lady, it's still me. How you feeling? You're still waiting? Because I have nowhere to be till 10 p.m. I can literally do this all day. <laughs> and that's how you fix America. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. I'm Aaron Jackson.